Proxima Centauri, the nearest star to our planetary framework, has for quite some time been a subject of interest for space experts. This minimal red diminutive person, found in 1915 by Scottish space expert Robert Innes, is part of the Alpha Centauri framework, which also incorporates Alpha Centauri A and B notwithstanding its closeness. Simply 4.24 light-years away, Proxima Centauri stays undetectable to the unaided eye because of its low brilliance. Anyway, it holds incredible logical importance, especially as the host star of Proxima b, an exoplanet that circles within the star's habitable zone. Red diminutive people like Proxima Centauri and others, such as Tauri, are more modest, cooler, and significantly longer-lived than stars like our Sun. Their low luminosity makes them challenging to notice. However, it likewise implies their habitable zones are a lot nearer to the star. For Proxima Centauri, this implies an orbital distance of roughly 0.05 galactic units, simply a little fraction of the distance between Earth and the Sun. Anyway, this closeness exposed Proxima B to serious celestial activity, counting successive solar flares and high levels of radiation, making its environment incomprehensibly different from Earth's. The discovery of Proxima b was a huge accomplishment in exoplanet research. Utilizing the spiral speed method, astronomers identified unobtrusive wobbles in Proxima Centauri's position caused by the gravitational pull of a circling planet. These wobbles permitted researchers to gauge the planet's mass and orbital period. In 2016, the European Southern Observatory officially confirmed the presence of Proxima b, marking a milestone in the quest for potentially habitable worlds beyond our solar system. While ground-based observations have given important insights, they come with significant limitations, such as air distortion and light obstruction, which hinder the ability of Earth-based telescopes to capture detailed information about the planet's surface or atmosphere. The majority of what we know, such as its mass, distance from the star, and orbital qualities, comes from indirect measurements. To reveal further insights about Proxima b's environment and its true potential for life, advanced observational tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, are essential. Proxima Centauri's role as the nearest star system to Earth offers a remarkable opportunity to study exoplanetary systems. Proxima b, specifically, presents an intriguing opportunity. A rocky, Earth-sized planet within the habitable zone with the possibility of having liquid water and maybe even life. Anyway, the challenges presented by its harsh climate make it a perplexing riddle for scientists. JWST is a revolutionary instrument in the study of space. As the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, JWST was built to overcome the limitations of its predecessor, especially in observing the universe in infrared frequencies. This ability allows it to peer through cosmic dust and uncover features hidden from Hubble. One of JWST's key design features is its enormous primary mirror, spreading over 6.5 meters in diameter, more than two times the size of Hubble's mirror. This larger mirror enables JWST to gather more light, making it capable of observing even the faintest and most distant objects. The mirror is coated with a thin layer of gold to enhance its infrared reflectivity and is made up of 18 hexagonal segments. Another remarkable feature is its five-layer sunshield, which keeps the telescope's instruments at a constant temperature of about minus 233 degrees Celsius. This ultra-cold environment is crucial for detecting faint infrared signals without interference from the telescope's own heat. Unlike Hubble, which orbits Earth, JWST operates from the second Lagrange point, L2, around 1.5 million kilometers from our planet. This location minimizes interference from Earth's heat and light, allowing JWST to maintain continuous observations. JWST can study everything from the earliest galaxies to the atmospheres of exoplanets like Proxima b. Its ability to detect infrared light is especially significant for studying redshifted objects, those whose light has been stretched to longer wavelengths as the universe expands. JWST is designed not only for observation, but also to address fundamental questions about the origins of galaxies, the formation of stars, and the conditions necessary for life on other planets. With its advanced instruments, including the Near-Infrared Camera, NIR Cam, the Mid-Infrared Instrument, MIRI, and the Near-Infrared Spectrograph, NIR Spec, JWST is a groundbreaking research tool, a time machine, and a symbol of human creativity. Proxima b has captured the imagination of both scientists 
and the general public as a potential second Earth. Positioned within the habitable zone of its star, it has the right conditions to support liquid water, a fundamental ingredient for life. With a mass roughly 1.17 times that of Earth, Proxima b is likely a rocky planet similar in structure to our own. Its proximity to Earth, just over four light years away, makes it an ideal target for studying the potential for life beyond our solar system. However, Proxima b is far from an ideal twin of Earth. One of its most striking features is that it is tidally locked, meaning one side of the planet is in constant daylight while the other is in perpetual darkness. This creates extreme temperature differences between the two halves of the planet, with the region where day meets night, known as the Terminator Line, potentially offering a narrow habitable zone with conditions mild enough to support life. The challenges of Proxima b's environment are significant. Its host star, Proxima Centauri, is a red dwarf known for its intense solar flares, which release bursts of X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. These flares could strip away the planet's atmosphere over time, exposing its surface to the harshness of space. If Proxima b retains any atmosphere, it likely requires a strong magnetic field to protect it from radiation. Without such protection, the surface environment would be inhospitable to life as we know it. Despite these challenges, researchers remain optimistic about the potential for life on Proxima b. The planet's location within the habitable zone suggests that liquid water could exist either on its surface or in subsurface reservoirs. Life might possibly adapt to the harsh conditions, just as life on Earth thrives in extreme environments like deep-sea hydrothermal vents or high-radiation zones. The search for life on Proxima b is not just a scientific endeavor. It is a quest to answer one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? Proxima b represents an exciting opportunity, a rocky, Earth-like world that could harbor the conditions necessary for life. As technology progresses, so too does our ability to explore this fascinating planet and uncover its secrets. However, the climate of Proxima b is heavily influenced by the nature of its host star. Unlike our sun, Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf, smaller, cooler, and far less luminous. Its reduced size and temperature mean that its habitable zone is much closer, pulling Proxima b into an orbit just 0.05 astronomical units from the star. About 20 times closer than Earth is to the Sun. This proximity creates a unique set of challenges for the planet and any potential life it might support. One major issue is Proxima Centauri's stellar activity, especially its frequent and intense solar flares. These flares release high doses of X-rays and ultraviolet radiation, which, bright radiation, which is undeniably more normal and strong in red diminutive people than in stars like our Sun, implies a steady flood of high-energy particles that could strip away Proxima b's climate over the long haul. Without a defensive attractive field, any climate on Proxima b would be powerless against disintegration, allowing its surface to be exposed to unforgiving radiation. Regardless of whether Proxima b holds a portion of its climate, the radiation from Proxima Centauri presents huge difficulties for life. High levels of bright radiation can break compound bonds, forestalling the development of mind-boggling natural atoms. This could seriously restrict the potential for life to develop or support itself on the planet's surface. On Earth, organic entities like Deinococcus radiodurans have developed components to fix DNA harm brought about by radiation, recommending that life on Proxima b could likewise adjust. Anyway, the degree of radiation obstruction required would be outrageous, conceivably requiring altogether new biochemistries. Strangely, Proxima b's neatly locked nature could offer some security. While one side of the planet faces steady radiation from Proxima Centauri, the dim side could go about as a shelter. Subsurface living spaces or profound caverns could protect potential life forms from the most terrible of the radiation. Moreover, if Proxima b has subsurface seas, these could give a steady, radiation-free climate where microbial life could flourish, similar to the biological systems around aqueous venting on Earth. Regardless of these difficulties, researchers remain confident that Proxima b's limit climate offers a captivating chance to concentrate on the flexibility of life. By seeing how living beings could make do or even flourish under such conditions, scientists can extend their comprehension of what makes a planet livable. Proxima b isn't simply a possible home for life. 
It is a research center in the quest for life's versatility across the universe. The plausibility of life on Proxima B raises additional issues than it answers, yet it likewise offers another viewpoint on the meaning of tenability. The search for life on Proxima B isn't only a scientific mission, but also a philosophical one. It challenges our comprehension of what comprises a tenable climate and widens our search for life to incorporate planets with outrageous circumstances. Proxima B's unfriendly radiation climate and tidally locked nature force scientists to reevaluate the conventional idea of livability, which was previously founded on Earth-like circumstances. One of the key aspects of concentrating on Proxima B is its potential to uncover new bits of insight into how life could adjust to unforgiving circumstances. If life can indeed make do and develop in such an outrageous climate, it could reclassify our assumptions for where life could exist in the universe. Understanding these potential outcomes may assist researchers with zeroing in on other exoplanets that share comparable attributes to Proxima b, expanding the criteria used to distinguish possibly livable worlds. The investigation of Proxima b additionally squeezes into the more extensive context of the quest for exoplanets, planets that exist outside our solar system. In the past couple of decades, the discovery of exoplanets has detonated, with large numbers of these far-off worlds now identified. The study of these planets, especially those in their stars' tenable zones, has moved our viewpoint on the probability of finding life elsewhere. Proxima b, with its closeness and potential for liquid water, is one of the most exciting contenders for the quest for life. However, it is far from unique. As technology advances, the number of known possibly tenable exoplanets continues to rise. In addition to studying Proxima b, astronomers are focusing on planets around other stars, especially those that share qualities with our sun. These sun-like stars offer tenable zones that might be more steady and helpful for life. However, Proxima b's orbit around a red dwarf star offers a contrasting case that challenges conventional thinking about livability. Its study can provide significant lessons on the strength of life and how it could exist in more extreme conditions. Proxima Centauri, the star that has Proxima b, also offers scientists a compelling opportunity to better understand stellar behavior, especially the differences between stars like our sun and red dwarfs. Red dwarfs are far more common in the universe than sun-like stars, and studying these stars can help us grasp how various types of stars impact the potential for life on surrounding planets. Proxima Centauri's regular stellar flares and the effects of its extreme radiation on Proxima b's climate may assist researchers in understanding how different types of stellar activity influence planetary conditions, providing crucial insights for the quest for life elsewhere. For now, Proxima b remains a mystery. However, technological advances and future space missions may ultimately provide the data needed to answer one of the most significant questions humanity faces. Is there life beyond Earth? With each new discovery, the chance of finding life on Proxima b or other exoplanets becomes more plausible. The implications of such a discovery would be significant. Proxima b's unique attributes and its position within the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri make it one of the most studied exoplanets in recent years. While scientists remain hopeful about its potential to support life, the planet's extreme conditions raise important questions about what makes a planet truly livable. One of the most intriguing aspects of Proxima b is its tidally locked nature, which means that one half of the globe is continually washed in sunlight, while the other remains in eternal darkness. This creates an interesting dynamic in the planet's environment, with one side possibly facing burning heat while the other remains freezing cold. The area between these two extremes, known as the Terminator Line, could offer a more temperate zone. This zone, where day meets night, may have conditions more suitable for life, with moderate temperatures and potential access to liquid water. However, the extreme conditions between the two sides of Proxima B also present various challenges for life to flourish. For example, any potential life forms in the habitable zone would have to be resilient to temperature extremes and high radiation levels. Scientists are particularly interested in the potential for subsurface life on Proxima B. If the planet has seas beneath its surface, these could provide a stable, protected environment where microbial life could survive, similar to Earth's deep ocean ecosystems. These conditions, which are not exposed to harsh surface radiation, could harbor unique types of life that thrive without sunlight, 
relying on chemical cycles rather than photosynthesis. This presents an intriguing opportunity for how life could adapt to alien environments vastly different from Earth. Additionally, Proxima Centauri's status as a red dwarf star raises further considerations for Proxima b. Red dwarfs are much more common in the universe than sun-like stars, and they are known for having intense stellar flares. These flares are explosions of energy that release large amounts of radiation, including X-rays and ultraviolet radiation, which could severely impact any life on a nearby planet. The continuous eruptive activity of Proxima Centauri could cause significant environmental degradation on Proxima b, stripping away any protective atmosphere it might have. This would make it much harder for the planet to retain an atmosphere capable of supporting life. Despite the challenges presented by Proxima b's environment, the planet remains a key focus for astronomers studying the possibility of life beyond our solar system. The proximity of Proxima b, just over four light years away, allows for detailed studies using advanced telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. JWST's ability to detect infrared radiation gives it a unique advantage in studying the planet's atmosphere and surface conditions, providing critical data about its potential habitability. The investigation of Proxima b isn't just about finding life, but also about expanding our understanding of what makes a planet suitable for habitation. As technology continues to improve and more exoplanets are discovered, scientists are refining the criteria used to identify planets with the best potential to support life. Proxima b offers a glimpse into how life could adapt to the extreme conditions of other planets, and its study could help inform future missions to explore even more distant exoplanets with similar attributes.